from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Following stops in Eleuther and Rumkey yesterday, a number of other islands this week. Health officials are now heading to Bimini tomorrow to continue the coronavirus vaccination exercise in the islands. Right around 80,000 doses have been administered around the country now, and officials continue to urge persons to get out and get vaccinated. The vaccination numbers getting a boost from Bahamians who've taken the shot in the United States. Health Minister Wells on the numbers. We do have about 2,000, around 2,700 persons, Bahamians, who would have been vaccinated in the U.S. Uh, The vast majority of those, I think some 1,500 of them actually received Pfizer. We had another 400 or so with Johnson & Johnson, and then the rest of them were actually uh, Moderna. Minister Wells says the government is aggressively seeking more vaccine from various companies, and more should be in country shortly. Another 28 confirmed cases of the virus reported for Tuesday, most of them in the capital. There's still more than 600 active cases with 39 persons in hospital, three in the ICU. No other death has been confirmed. That total remains 244. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. The Attorney General's office now seeking a stay of that appeals court ruling on that citizenship matter, the court upholding an earlier Supreme Court ruling that gives children of Bahamian men born in the Bahamas to foreign women citizenship at birth by a 3-2 to two vote. The AG's office intends to take that to the Privy Council for a final ruling on the issue. Until then, the law remains the same, that according to Attorney General Carl Bethel, who told the Senate yesterday that persons have been showing up at various government departments trying to claim status on the basis of that appeals court ruling. Appeals court justices have heard the arguments. They will now have to decide if the $640,000 awarded to Kenyan Douglas Nagumi by the Supreme Court earlier for his detention center experience should be changed. His lawyer is claiming the award is well below what it should be, They want $11 million. The Senate completing another day of debate on the budget. They expect to get through the exercise by the end of the week. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight AccuWeather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Turning partly cloudy tonight, overnight lows in the upper 70s, 78 at Freeport, 78 in the capital, 79 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds falling to light and variable overnight. The sea's three feet or less. Next tide is a high around 9 o'clock this evening. Friday's forecast, mostly sunny, highs in the upper 80s, maybe some low 90s. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about right now. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power & Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary Sections, Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. World News headlines, the American man who created the antivirus computer software, McAfee, has been found dead in a Spanish prison. He was scheduled to be extradited to the U.S. to face tax evasion charges. McAfee was 75. He is believed to have taken his own life. German Chancellor Angela Merkel warning that the new Delta variant of the coronavirus is threatening to undo progress made against the spread in Europe. She says the EU is on thin ice with this. The head of the American CDC also expressing concern about the variant and what it could do in the future. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section on TV. There's soccer, that major international tournament in Europe continues getting down to the wire now. John Quill Jones heading back to the WNBA after getting knocked out of that Europe tournament. The Suns' next game is Sunday against Chicago. Meantime, DeAndre Ayton and the Suns in L.A. for Game 3 tonight against the Clippers in the NBA West Finals, up 2-0 in the series. Jazz and the Marlins open a home series against the Washington Nationals tonight. 
There's pro golf on TV, including a major women's tournament, the PGA, starting today. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. 